Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studio. Studio. We are so excited today. It's our 27th episode. It is our 27th episode. That's um, crazy. It's totally crazy that we've gotten so far. And um, this is our 27th take of this intro. But we're, <laughs> go, but we're gonna get it <laughs> this time round. Yes, I have been going round and round and round about this intro right now. So you got this. this is like the fifth time we've done this. You got this. <laughs> Tell us about how exciting it is when everyone keeps liking and subscribing. Oh my gosh. You know what, you guys, I'm so excited. Uh, and, and it just, it makes us so happy that we get so many like amazing comments and we get to talk back and forth with you guys. Right. And, uh, and the likes and subscribes. Um, if this is your first time uh, to our channel, Thank you so much for stopping by, and, um, and if you like it, like it, and if you want to subscribe, it would mean the world to us. Exactly. Um, also, we still have some pins left. Yes, we do. Yes, so if anybody would like a pin, it's very simple. All you gotta do is like and subscribe, send us an email at masseyartstudio at gmail.com. Absolutely. And let us know that you want one. Um, we get we your do. address and we ship it right off to you. Exactly. No matter where in the world that you are. Wherever in the world Wherever you are. Wherever in the world that you are. <laughs> so I think today, what are, what are we doing? What are you doing, Lee? I'm going back to my basics and I'm gonna be breaking out Donald. Oh. It's been a while since I've done it. You saw Mina use it in our collaboration a few videos ago. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give Donald Dustpan a good old shaking off and see what we can do. That's awesome. What are you doing? I am gonna actually, I'm going back to what I to your originally basics. loved, right. <laughs> which got me started in this whole journey, is a Dutch pour. <laughs> so I am doing an amazing Dutch pour today. We picked up some fabulous colors. You picked up some beautiful colors again. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous, beautiful colors. So <laughs> why don't we get started and, uh, and get to painting? Let's do it. All right. All right, guys, here we are. Handography. With handography. Pew, pew, pew. Um, here we are with uh, my canvas. I've already went ahead and I flooded everything and I uh, got all the edges. And um, now flooding, if, you, if you're new to this and new to the channel, uh, flooding is whenever I take a white base coat and I completely pour it over the entire canvas. Uh, so that way it's, it's all nice has a nice coat on it and whenever I do my design of, uh, of my paints on it it helps the paints to blow out really nicely uh, so what kind of paint are we using on the base this time oh we are using I have artist loft light magenta Ooh. I have uh, what colors is it in Amsterdam turquoise green turquoise green it's a really beautiful too and then I have uh, Phalo Blue by Liquitex. I have Phalo Green by Liquitex. I have Arteza's Sa uh, Pearl Sage, oh, which is uh, one of my favorite you love colors. That color. I do. And then I have this beautiful, gorgeous Sapphire Blue by Folk Art. Mm -hmm. It's and that's that's a metallic. Right. Um, and the base coat is is Blick. Blick white. Blick white, yeah. And um, if you guys want to, uh, you can go ahead and follow a link that we have in our description, description box, box mm -hmm. uh, and you can order uh, through Blick uh, from us. Um, so without further ado, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start layering my colors on here. So I'm gonna actually start out with the phalo blue. Those phalo colors are so dark and beautiful. Yes. Um, next, I'm going to do the lighter. Turquoise green? Turquoise green. Which we've used before and is another really fantastic color. Um, and then I'm gonna go with, uh, I think I'm gonna do the darker green, which is the phalo green. Wow, even those three colors next to each other look fantastic. Thank you. Oh, and here's the controversial mm -hmm. magenta, light magenta. 
Jeremy, you picked these colors. Caveat. I did pick these colors because I absolutely love, I love bright colors. Um, next, I'm doing the Sage. Sage, Pearl Sage by Arteza. The Arteza pearls, like that one, mm. and the pistachio do tend to dry kind of really light. Yeah, yeah and, so then the, interesting. and then now I'm using the Folk Art Sapphire. Sapphire Blue. We used to have a TV show in England called Sapphire and Steel. Did you have that here? Mm, no, I don't think so. All right. So I got my colors all laid out. I love this little design here. I'm already starting to get some cells. It's really funny. Um, I need to torch this real quick. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I am going to blow this out. So I'm thinking, where am I going to start? I think I'll just start here at the end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little blow dryer and I'm going to blow this out right here just a tad. Just to mingle it. Just to mingle it. Now you're going to use the trusty straw or the trusty blow dryer. Mm. Which one do you want? I'm going to use the blow dryer first okay. and then I might use my straw afterwards okay. if I need if I need to. Um, so let me, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Technology. Technology, it works. All right, let's see here. And. Can I tell you what I'm loving? Tell me what you're loving. So um, you have some beautiful cells. The sapphire over the magenta is actually really pretty. Um, over in this corner over mm. here, which is really great. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really digging how the colors all kind of mingled but stayed separate. It's great. Love it. Thank you. I am going to turn this around so that way whenever I, uh, I blow that out, it's easier for you guys to see the process. All right. Perfect. Yay. Okay, and with my trusty little blow dryer here, um, I am going to get to work on this little area. And if anyone wants that blow dryer, blow dryer where can they find it? They can find it on, on a link on our description page. They can indeed. Yes. Everyone asks about that. Really? Yeah, they do. I love this little thing. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Oh, Holster right. your air blower. Yes, <laughs> yes. Sometimes I, I get a little too excited with that thing. But I think this is great. I think it really actually blended out some more of the colors here. Mm -hmm. um, as it dries, you're really going to see a lot of uh, the underlying colors come up, like some of this magenta here and some of these greens in this magenta here. So you're really going to see a lot of the, other, the lighter colors start to come through, and it's really going to uh, make this painting, I think. Um, I'm in love with it. I love the colors. I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix my edges. And Will you take them in for a close-up? That's exactly what I was going to say. I'd love I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up. All right, guys.
All right, folks, um, it's Lee. Thank you for joining me here. I, as I said earlier, I'm gonna use my dustpan. Um, so what I've already done is layered my canvas with an unusual color for me. I would normally have done this blue, and as I was thinking about it, I was like, why? I'm gonna do something different. So I mm. flooded my canvas with Phalo Green by Liquitex Basics instead. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is layer a cup. Now, some of you have said I should just pour the paint directly into the pan, and I have seen that result, but I really do like the ring pour into the pan and then onto the canvas. So that is what I'm gonna do again today, using exactly the same colors that Jeremy's already picked for us. Um, and I'm gonna try and use every single one of them. That's awesome. Now let's do this. So um, Jeremy, I'm gonna use the sage to kind of interact as a barrier between the darker colors because I'm not gonna use any more white. Yeah. So that's how I'm gonna use my sage. So, as I've got a green base first, the first color I'm gonna pour into my cup is gonna be the phalo blue. Then I'm gonna go in with the turquoise. Ooh, it's got little hints of magenta in there, look at that. <laughs> little runaway magenta. Then that sage, pearl sage green, which really will dry very light. So then in with some magenta. And, you know I'm gonna put another layer with the pearl sage again. Daring, I know. Let's go in with the phalo green. Ooh, that I haven't done yet. I know, it's the it's sapphire. The sapphire. Ooh. Okay, now some of the turquoise. Some of that sagey. Oh gosh, okay, a bit more magenta because I can feel you wanting me to put more magenta in it. This is your piece, you can do whatever you want with I it. I can do-do. Okay, I will do-do this and I'm gonna put more of the good blue in. Turquoise. Straighten with a darker. And some more of the sapphire. And I'm gonna to top it off with some of the sage. I'm not putting any more magenta in. No, you don't have to. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to. Alright. So you've just seen me lay my cup. Next, let's grab Donald. The trusty pan. Um, I'm going to layer it right here. I think. Yes, I am. Um, I did want to just say one thing real quick. That um, a lot of you have been asking us about kind of the skins and what we do with all the leftover paints and stuff. We're not quite as messy as maybe we seem on camera because we always keep these pee pads and then reuse them both on our drying rack and when we're mixing paint. But we kind of like to have a blank background where we at least start our video. So that's really the reason why you always see a blank one of these. Um, Jerry's, Jeremy's moved his onto the drying rack with his painting. And we don't keep the skins because um, we try and use as much of the paint as we can. With that said, I'm going to ring pour into my pan. I thought she was hiding for a minute. I was not completely displeased by the fact. Okay. Who wants to see me wreck it? I was just thinking that. Right? Actually. Jeremy, would you pass me the comb? Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I actually, I just said it and it already made me sweat at the idea of breaking these beautiful rings. Ah! Okay, well, I've committed to it now. All right, straight down the middle. 
is what I'm thinking. Ooh. Okay. Now let's pour this onto the canvas. stretch. Let's see what's underneath all these layers. coming out really beautiful. Thank you. I hadn't actually intended to go quite to the corner, but I'm not, if, I, if it goes over the corner, I'm not gonna be displeased because I'm kind of enjoying the way that it's all kind of selling up. Sorry, not selling up. All the rings are opening up. I'm sorry, that's what I meant. What I will do is take off some of that kind of nothing, kind of muddiness that's down on the bottom left to me, but I think it's probably the bottom right to you. See what I'm doing. I'm just gonna maybe see if I can get a little bit of that green off. It's starting to move now. Yeah, it is perfect. And then I will tilt it back on itself, but I just didn't want it there. Okay, I am super intrigued by this one. Um, there's, there's so much magenta peeping through, but I don't dislike it. I love it, in fact, especially next to the blue and that pearlescent blue, that sapphire blue by Folk Art always does this really well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna torch this one just to make sure that I haven't got any little air bubbles underneath the paint. So I'll do that really quick. Um, but I'm really pleased with this. I always love the effect that we get from the dustpan. Um, never wrecked it before in the pan, so definitely got a very different design. But I'm happy with the way it came out. Really happy with it, actually. I'll clean up my edges, give it a quick torch, 
and then Jeremy will bring you in for a flyby. Yes. So there you have it folks, two more pours, Yes. a dustpan pour and a yes. Dutch pour. And a Dutch pour. Yeah, so thank you for joining us for two more pours. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed it, I really did like using a different colour as my negative space rather than my go-to mm. which was my blue. Yeah, it was really pretty. And I really liked your Dutch pour. <sighs> it was cute, but too bad. Well they don't know that yet. Oh. Yeah. Let's show you something. <laughs> it should be a blooper, but we're going to take you in for a little close-up of the dried pieces. Yes. Have a look and yes. see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeremy's Dutch pour. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and it would have come out really amazing, except for the fact that we learned a lesson here, ladies and gentlemen. And what that lesson is, is that after you get done painting, that whenever you put it on your drying rack or wherever you're putting it, make sure that it's an even surface, right. like a completely balanced surface, because this is what happens when it's not. It slips. And it slips. It totally slips you get these big huge drips all over through here like my entire painting went sad <laughs> <laughs> it went south it as well south that's for, for sure. the border yes and i don't understand it because our drying rack is straight so maybe yeah. one maybe one of the feet one of actually the feet just wasn't been. on the rack properly yeah. but yeah. i'm really that's a real shame i'm sorry about that but that's okay you know what it means? It means I can use this canvas all over Exactly. Again. It means you get I to do it. Gesso it. All over let it again. Dry, and I have a whole new canvas. Exactly. So, yes, we don't waste anything here at Massey Art. There's Studio. always a silver lining. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you've got some beautiful selves, and it was really interesting colors. So yes, well it done. was great colors. It, it, it came out really, actually, really pretty whenever it was done. Right. Um, but yeah, now it's just a little sad. But it's okay, it's all good. It's, it's all learning, you know, learning. I'll make sure to put it up on the drying rack. Straight. Straight, next time, level. Okay. So Lee, tell us about your gorgeous dustpan. Do you want me to tell you about the dustpan or do you want me to tell me about? The pour. <laughs> tell me about your piece of artwork. I have a dustpan, <laughs> it's silver with a wooden handle. Um, I wrecked my ring in my dustpan as you just saw. So what that did for me this time, as well as my beautiful layers, I've also got like where I wrecked the ring, which I really enjoyed once I allowed myself to enjoy it. Um, super interesting and very different colors for us. I decided to do a cobalt green background sorry no a phalo green background phalo negative green. space rather than blue which would have always have been my go-to and i really enjoy it um i like the piece and i don't mind the magenta that's running through this one because that can be a really difficult color to use but um i use the same colors as you did on the dutch pour i just laid them a little differently and i do really enjoy this piece and i definitely will use that green negative space again nice so you saw that droopy sad dutch pour I know, I'm so sorry about that. I don't, we, we do, like I said, we do have a straight, like a completely level drying rack, but one of the little feet must have been over the edge of the rack and then it's kind of tilted and that's why yeah. it's dried all funny. Yeah. But, the, but it was still beautiful. I mean, you had some really great cells on it, but it just means we've got a canvas to paint over. Yes, exactly. So, um, exactly. yes, which we do do sometimes. If, yeah, if it we doesn't, do definitely, if it doesn't work out. Exactly. We do have some, new art up on the wall as some of ours is sold um, as you've already seen in a previous episode we've got the massyartstudio.com website up and running now so please go take it and have a look for, uh, at it for us week. and we'd also really like your comments here drop us a comment and let us know what you think of the website yeah absolutely 
Everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you so much. We've just managed to eclipse like 2,400 subscribers, which no. is brilliant. It's amazing. Super fun. Um, so thank you so much for that. And we still answer all your comments and, um, and read every single one of them normally to each other. So um, especially the really fun and cute ones. So thank you so much for that too. Don't forget to like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yes. Um, and then that's it. Please come back for episode 28 where we'll be doing something else with acrylic, maybe with a dustpan, maybe with a hairdryer, but we'll be doing something fun and we hope that you enjoy what it is that we create for you here on the studio. Um, so that's it. That's it? Yeah. Thanks everyone. Bye. So hey guys, we wanted to take a quick second and to do a special mention and shout yes. out to all of our Patreon MPs, that's the Massey Pourers. So thank you to Leslie Bever, who's a gold pourer, and thank you to Sparkle, Sparkle. who's a platinum pourer, yes. and to everyone else down below. Thank you so much for wanting to take a little bit of an extra special interest in Massey mm -hmm. Art Studio, and thank you for joining us on this journey.